How can I throw that game? Fucking cheesy, lot of terror. He likes to play blue a lot. I almost want to keep this. YOLO. Play was to hit into his Lord of Terror and summon the creature with haste. Because next turn I can... I mean, he still taunts me, right? But I can Firestorm Flame Burst it, make room and charge in, yeah. <laughs> because he couldn't kill me. God, chat. I'll put on sub mode when I get when I get uh, a sub button. It's no more no more distracting chat. What is this? Why is he not playing a creature? You kidding me? Why is he not playing creatures? I don't have any creatures with haste. Nope. It's a combat deck. He has to be afraid of uh, Horse Master here. Man, there was no way I lose the last game, right? Yeah, it was impossible for me to lose the last game. No, he can preemptively firestorm me. That would have worked. Where's my Gift of Steel? play both. I only need a ground shaker to finish it. What? Do I want to firestorm it? Yeah, I want to firestorm it. With his profit with firestorm. No, the, the right play by me, unless my opponent plays Flame was to face preemptively. The right play for me was to just hit him with ground check of weight, set up my combat creature, the brigand, and the other guy to charge to the face, and then kill his creature with uh, flame burst firestorm the following turn, make room with the ground shaker, hit with ground shaker and the uh, combat guy. But I threw the game when I played into Garrodon. Which I wasn't expecting, but after the second firestorm, but whatever. He actually has no push effect. Oh, this guy is annoying. Need to brigand that. I think this is a good matchup though. I like our chances. We can even block the shell and he can't push it down, correct? What if he blocked your charge path? He, uh, he couldn't. I would have killed the... I hit in so that the, ground, that the Lord of Terror is on 5. Then I Firestorm and Flame Burst, the Ground Shaker, so I can move my creature away and hit in and haste with charge with the other. The deck list is right here. Like, right next to the screen. So he's buffing it, but even if it buffs it... Okay, we need to drop the top deck Cyphers Wrath. Cyphers Wrath would be sick. Oh, I get so much. Or a Gift of Steel, even. Yeah, that's right, King Dance. If he preemptively Flame Burst face. Okay, I don't really care about that, right? I'm actually happy. More AOE value. Come on, give me a card here. I might. As well, just draw for it because I can full clear if I get the card. That's not the card. What's more important? I don't want him to double collect. Other hand, I can collect myself, but I can't play a creature because he can upgrade this. I think I draw. I can get Flame Buster Cypher's Wrath. I have six outs. Gift of Steel would also be decent. Oh, shit. Now we don't have double firestorm. The only 
bad thing is that I can't play my boss here because of Mirror Phantasm. Uh, I don't want to ground check because I just dropped X Grano. Pretty ridiculous that I lost the last game, but the, the deciding factor was the Lord of Terror. I think that's a hard counter to other red decks. I wonder how many he runs in that deck. Yeah, like frame bursting. Yeah, if if he. If he was one step ahead, Messine and Flame Busted Face, I would have lost anyway. So we, we predicted the Storm, uh, the Mirror Phantasm, pretty obvious, so we ground shaker here. And I'm still double correcting, I think this matchup is great. I also got good AoE value, of course. The only question is, do I draw? And I kind of like drawing. I go to free. Going to free, what does that mean? I could also play him at the well. But I don't know if he can remove it. I think against blue, I want more cards to play, just maybe I could have dropped the X Grand as well. Maybe we can, or, no, I didn't know that I draw one. That's awkward for him. You don't want to myth maker that. Yeah, King King Dance and Cappuccino are right. That's the same thing I also mentioned. If Messine plays it right, I still lose. So I kind of lost the game by not making the right play at the end, but the real reason why I think I threw the game was by playing into Garadon with the X grinder on the, on the land. It's just in control versus control, you have to be so patient. Well, that kind of sucks. He's going ham here, he's going Orion. Oh, that's good, we can charge this up if he finds an answer. And do I let him hit me face just so I can horse master down then? My guy would be at 8 health, so he can Falcon Dive it to finish. I like playing X Grinder, sets me up for a Firestorm. I don't really care if he hits me for 7 or do I? Do I really care that much? He can then Ninja Toad my guy, but then I buff this. Haste him down, I think I want to draw. So many buffs, buffs aren't that great here. I might as well drop two creatures. Why won't you drop two creatures against red? Uh, against, yeah, against red. Reflex over, part is over. I honestly don't care if it's me for seven, I think. Not sure. Do we really want to trade in both here? I hope he plays another stuff, another creature. This is still losable. Maybe I should have blocked just with the X grinder. Then I can ninja toad. No, I'm at 20 health. And I'm double collecting. And I have 4 fairy on board. <laughs> so I can't even hit face. I think that's it for him. I don't really want to firestorm it though. Uh, if I gift of steel, I play into Falcon Dive, but he just used one. Maybe we draw into fires uh, into flame burst. That's what I drew last turn. <laughs> like in the end, this is also a fire flame burst, cost free. Do I collect? I like collecting, yeah. yeah. 
So this is interesting. I think I go for one land here, one land there. Next turn, I go for eternal spawn. This is my only mobility, but I think it's okay. If I collect both wells, what can go wrong? Why do I play him here and go for a mountain so I can drop the creature? I have give air yeah, buffs. I should drop the creature. I can even play him here and move this up then later. Yes, I like that more. Can pressure him with my with my own creature. Uh, I'm a bit vulnerable if he drops a big creature down there. I guess. If he drops a big creature down there. But he has to make a land for it. So maybe that was greedy, going here for the double correcting. Maybe it was also greedy. Yeah, I had to play the horse master to, to defend here. On this side is the action. He doesn't want to drop stuff over there. This, okay, he drew, that's very good. Uh, he's probably not going to expect the double Gift of Steel. Oh, he's actually playing around Gift of Steel. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Mm, he got top decked. He played into Horse Master here, but I guess he has to. I don't want to pre-buff this and just not trade because of Frogifies. And I step this down just in case we have to defend. I only have Firestorm right now to defend if he has another Colossus. Could get scary. I don't know why am I throwing this so hard. I need a defense here. I know what he can do. <laughs> Maybe I should have ignored that guy though. Maybe I should have ignored that guy. His only way of winning this is racing. It's obvious. Can we out race him? Could set up the Herald over there. I mean, if this hits face, I have enough Herald to play everything anyway. So I don't really feel. I mean, he's blue, he can only ninja tote this to keep this alive, right? If you trade with Firestorm. Why does he have so much Pharah? Reaver? He's not going to run Reaver. <laughs> Imagine he has Reaver in the deck. He ha only has that many lakes because, like, he had to make shitty lands all the time. Would you actually run a one of Reaver? How crazy is that? Actually pretty crazy. Wow, this is so good, this guy here. He gives us so much Pharah. <laughs> so yeah, that's the, the GG Storm. GG Storm. I don't want to pre-buff this if I don't need it. <laughs> 